I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> you know what I don't have? What? Anything to drink. Um, isn't that terrible? It is terrible. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Can't get a new collar. You can't spoil it yet. You gotta wait for people to come in so we can show it off. I can't get a new collar. So cute. Look at her. You can't really see it from the front, but it's pink. It doesn't huh. look pink on the camera. It doesn't. Open another. Come back. You don't want him. Oh, we can share. It's okay. So I've been packing up for the NEC for this weekend. She has not been helping at all. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait till Matt gets in here and hears this. Don't believe me. He will not. Everybody knows you ain't pack up squat. <laughs> huh. huh. So that's going well so far. What, the NEC? The packing. The NEC's going great. We got, what, three days? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? And we're getting a snowstorm. It's about eh, three to five inches. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Um, Nathan Hovey. Jeremy. Jeremy. Big Steve. Welcome. Um... But yeah, went like Tuesday, Wednesday, and then a little into Thursday, it's supposed to snow. And then in Connecticut, it's actually supposed to snow on Thursday as well. And that's the day we head down. So it'll be a nice snowy ride. Yeah. But it's supposed to be really nice on Sunday. So, yes. Truly, Sandy has been doing all the packing. Um, but yeah, tomorrow starts the real packing i guess so um i took like oh happy birthday nathan i saw that on facebook earlier um i saw it on youtube easy this morning um so like there was a day where i got some isopods in and then like i had to make up a, a ton of supplies so i made up like a bunch of bags of it's fish and isopod stuff. There's like substrate and then there's catapa leaves, magnolia leaves, all that stuff. Um, so there's like two boxes of just dry goods downstairs, but it's not all going to the NEC. I have to conserve room. So like I made up a ton of stuff because we are going to the Queensbury Expo the week after. So I just made up a ton of everything. Like, so I have a ton of fish stuff and a ton of um, isopod stuff. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bring like everything I have of all of it. Um, it depends on how much room we have. Cause I want to prioritize bringing like certain things over others. Cause I have a feeling that they'll sell over some other stuff. Well, you gotta bring probably two totes just for the, mm, I'd say one total pre-orders. No, the live talk. Uh, -oh. No, yeah, that's like that's two totes. Presentation is at least two totes plus pre orders will be at least a tote. So, yeah, I don't remember how many totes fit in the car though. I remember we did have like the cornhole boards and stuff, so it took up a little more room. But, um, I feel like it was eight, it should be plenty good, but you can fit more if you have because we did them horizontal at the front, and that was four, and then we did them this way, which was another eight. No, we didn't stack them double in the middle, I don't think. Maybe we did. Yeah, it was double in the middle, so it was eight. And then we had two in the back, I think, so that made ten. But then we had the totes of water, or the buckets of water. Um, so I think it was ten totes. But, yeah. I'm trying to conserve. Like, we have five tables for the NEC. So, we obviously have the room, but I just want to, like, like, I have two totes of dragons made up, but I'm not bringing them all because I don't need eight gallons of isopod substrate and 
You don't know that till you get there. I have to be smart about stuff. Leave me alone. So I'm thinking four or five gallons, maybe. And then obviously all the catapa leaves and all the magnolia leaves and stuff. But I got to conserve. So I've started packing up the dry goods, but tomorrow's like the real packing. So like tomorrow I'll figure out how much of each is going and then put it in the actual totes because right now they're in like other totes um, in storage. So yeah, I'll put the dry goods in the actual totes that they're going to be going in. See how much that takes up. Finish up the the kits for the workshop. See how much that takes up. And then see what I got after that. Because I feel like I could pack the fish pretty heavy. Not the quarries because they only got so much room. But like I got a bunch of platinum rice fish. I could probably do 8 to 10 in a cup. So they won't take up a lot of room. The fish should be 1 to 2 totes. The workshop's going to be 2 totes. The pre order is probably going to be two totes because I forgot um, that I have five totes for Crip. So, yeah. Fish fan link, Liquid Zoo, Daniel Velez. Hello. Fish fan link, Liquid Zoo, our aquatic universe, Daniel Velez, welcome. Um, but yeah, so two totes for the workshop, at least. We already have two totes filled, so we'll see. Um, but I think I can squish everything down and compact it. So right now, I said it on the last stream, it's like 32 ounce cups for the micro worm cultures, or the micro worm kits. So there's 20 of them. There's 20 cups set up with a bag of oatmeal in each, a care guide, not yet, but care guides in each. A business card in each and then a label on the container and the lid so i have 20 cups but if i condense it and just stack all the cups and lids together and then just stack up the bags of oatmeal it won't take up as much room so i might actually do that because thinking about it now i do got a lot of stuff to bring but the setup's going to be elite 2024 is gonna be a great time might be we'll have to post pictures i'll definitely grab pictures because like if we we're gonna go to rexpo you, to fill out an application you have to have a picture of like our best dress table so it'll be that um but we have the banner i'm assuming it has to be cut down because our table is like eight foot and then two eight footers so if we want to put the banner across like along the like the front table, I guess it would have to be eight foot, and right now it's ten foot. The frame is the, the stand, yeah. The stand for the banner, the banner is eight foot, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, so we have the banner, we've got all matching tablecloths except for one because we ordered four and we have five tables now, so. We're going to have one odd one out, but that will just be the front table, so it'll be different. It's fine. Um, we've got our coffee pot, like, near burnt the house down. So we had to go get a new one. And while we were at Target, they had these, like, three-tier um, racks, shelves, display things, I guess. So we got two of them, and they're expandable, so they go out into <clears throat> two. And... Um, we're going to use those for the isopods. I made labels and pictures and stuff. And then I bought lights today. They're like little reading book lights where it's like you clip them on and the light comes over. And they're kind of bright, so it'll be good. I only have three of them, though, because that's all I had left. Yeah, it's going to be a great setup. And then we got the fish tanks for the fish. I want to do lights for the fish because I want them to be illuminated, but, you know, I didn't ask for electricity, so it's too late now. Table lamp. <laughs> but, yeah, my cat got a new collar. She never had a collar before, so 
I guess. I mean, it is new, but we went to Walmart to get those lamps. And I got her a collar. And then I got them some, like, um, what are those? Gravity feeders. Because we're going to be gone from Thursday to Sunday. And we have a lady coming to watch the cats. But I don't want her to have to worry about my cats. And I'm, I don't feed them wet food because they're disgusting. They just, like, throw it up. So I have to find them, like, a special wet food. They have a sensitive stomach wet food, and they don't eat it. So I'm just going to tell her not to worry about, like, giving them wet food. They have two automatic feeders of dry food, a bowl of dry food, and two waters. Now they do. So I just wanted my cats to be all set for the weekend while we're gone. Surf City Cichlids, Eduardo. Surf City, welcome. See you later, Daniel. And Monster Fish Cow. Monster Fish Cow, welcome. Eduardo, welcome. Um, but yeah. So, I'm assuming 10 totes will fit in the car. But, I don't know. I don't want to pack too heavy and then like, the morning of where we'd like have to condense down totes because I feel like we did that last year. I don't know. Um, but we don't have like when we went to the clash, we had cornhole boards and we don't have that this year. So we can just bring chairs like where the cornhole boards would be. We would have chairs and like the banner, the banner stand and stuff. So I think there'll be plenty of room. You should be able to fit four. Four. And then four. And, and then two in the back, which is what we need. Right. Or we could just throw whatever back there we need to. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Shit. Head plant into my chest. She has a bell on her now, too. So she's super cute. I didn't really want the bell. I just want. You okay? I just wanted the pink collar because she looks adorable. Aquarium Talk TV, welcome. But yeah. So, tomorrow we'll, well, I'll start boxing up. It'll be dry goods, and I think all the worm cultures will get packed up. And then Tuesday will be, like, plants and I think isopods. And then Friday, no, my goodness. Wednesday will be all the fish and starter cultures of worms. Because I kind of planned it out. Like the mature cultures of worms. When I ship them. They last in shipping for a while. But they'll be packed up. They'll be packed up three days. Before being unpacked for the table. And that's typically how long they're packed up for shipping. And they live in those containers. Because they have air holes. So they'll be packed up for three days in a tote. Which is just like a box for shipping. And then they'll go out on the table on Thursday when we get there. So they'll be just fine. What time can we get in there? To can you see? Yeah. I have no idea. I suppose I should probably figure that out. We got early check-in for the hotel that we're going to. It's like five minutes down the road. What am I asking? What time is set up Yeah. on Thursday? Um, but yeah, and then the isopods will be packed up for two days, which is also fine because they go in shipping for a while, but I don't want them packed up as long because they aren't in like big containers. So yeah, and then the fish obviously to just not have them out of their tanks as long, pack them up the night before, and then they'll be in tanks for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, into Sunday, and then they'll get back up in cups if there's anything left. I'll be working. You'll be working when? Tuesday, Wednesday. So? I don't need you. Mm -hmm. I got fluffy. Mm -hmm.
Really beautiful cat. But yeah. So, I wasn't taking live foods into consideration, but I did make up a ton of culture, so that's probably going to be two totes. And then two totes for the talk. And then, let's say, a tote for pre-orders. And then a tote for fish. Worst thing will be two more totes for other stuff. So that would be the eight totes. But that's also with no dry goods. So I guess we'll figure it out. I'll see how many. I forgot how many like 32 ounce cups fit in the tote. So I'll have to figure that out. And then I'll know if I need one or two totes for fish. And I'll just like pack everything up. Except for the fish. And then I'll know how many totes. But yeah. It's going to be fun. It'll be fine. I hope so. We got a bunch of isopods to bring. I'm excited to do the new display. Because I've never brought like isopods to a show. Except for the Keystone Clash. Which was just like four totes of them. And people could like look in and be like. I want that one or something. So. I'm excited to try out the new setup. Hopefully everything goes good. Plushy Aquatics, welcome. Vinoxky, welcome. You're fine. That cat won't bother you. She's adorable. Yeah, so there's no fish, though, at the NEC. They didn't plan it. So, there's no fish show. But Saturday evening... Oh, watch it. I could have been bad. You're too fat. Poor kitty. Now she needs bed. It's okay. There you go, Trevor. She almost just fell off. <laughs> You're good. How many humans can Brian put in those totes? Probably one in each tote. So, ten. <laughs> I think I cut them up a little bit. You got a big meat cleaver. Awesome. That's for the zombie apocalypse. Huh. Huh. <laughs> yeah. And then, so, whatever's left over from the NEC, I'll put some stuff in the auction. Um, but for the most part, I'm just going to, like, bring it home. Because we have, depending on how much stuff is left over, we have a... Reptile and Fish Expo the following weekend. It's like 20 minutes from here, so it's really close. There's really, it's not a big expense, except for the tables. The tables were 75 bucks. Um, but yeah. It's, it's pretty close to us, and we wouldn't, we would be leaving around 7.30 to get there eight ish maybe a little earlier but get there around eight ish or earlier and then set up and vip doors open at nine and then regular doors open at 10. it's like 10 to 4 so then we'll pack up and be home around five ish so we'll need breakfast lunch and dinner probably but the venue or the where is it in Queensbury? the west glens falls firehouse Oh, and then buy bare bones or something like that. I think. Oh, uh -huh. I think so. Um, but the ven, not the vendor. It's like I want to say venue. I don't know the word I'm looking for. The person who puts it on buys pizza for all of his vendors. So yeah, so we're gonna get pizza for lunch for free. 
and then we'll just have to get breakfast and dinner. Which I'm assuming breakfast will be either Stewart's or McDonald's because we'll be near there. And then dinner. Pizza Hut or Wendy's. We're not having Pizza Hut after we just had pizza for lunch. No, no, we are not getting Pizza Hut. Because last time we went to Pizza Hut, it was near a hundred dollars. And it was whack. Like I don't know if you guys have ever had a t bad meal, but this was like below the bar. Mm -mm. The breadsticks, though. We could go there and eat breadsticks for dinner. I'm fine with that. Mm. But I'm assuming probably Wendy's or, um, I mean, if it's a really good day, Texas Roadhouse. But it would have to be Texas Roadhouse to go. Because we'll have fish in the car. That'll be right. LC Aquatics. LC Aquatics, welcome. Plus, it's a nice day. Huh. But yeah, there's... There's a lot of options. We could go to Taco Bell, but I know some people don't like Taco Bell. Or Subway. Subway would be a great option. So, if you really think about it, this Thursday to, sun to like, next Sunday, we're not really, unless we can find, like, a deli or something, we're not eating real food for the entire weekend, and it's terrible. Because, like, the Keystone Clash, you wake up, you have McDonald's. Lunch was usually McDonald's. We went to a deli one day, which I was happy about. Except for the fact that somebody lost my sandwich. But Noose's Deli was awesome. Noose's Deli was great. Um, Oh, this shirt. This is a wrestling tournament shirt. But speaking of shirts. Please tell me this is mine. Looks a little... Looks a little inside out. Looks a little inside out. My goodness. I need better shirts. Hold on. That okay. Was, that was a wrestling match she participated in last year. Yeah. Um. I think I got, like, second. I got first in the 145 class, but I got second in the 152 because there was some big girl. Too crazy. I'm not supposed to be wrestling that big. Anyhow, this is my beloved father's. I pulled these out of my closet. These are our vending shirts, I guess. I got them for the clash last year. And because I wanted something like custom, I guess, because I know I believe Saburai does, like, he wears his shirts, and then Chris Suspicious, they wear their shirts. I was like, we need something. Originally, I was going to do black, because, like, our logo would look splendid on black. But we needed something that stood out, thanks to our neighbor at camp. He was like, you got to stand out. I was like, pink. He's like, what audience do you need? And he's like, are you target? Are you trying to like target women or something? So like, what audience do you want to bring? And like, pink people might be like, oh, women. But so we went with yellow because everything about Harold's Fish and More is like yellow and black. So yeah, I got the I got our names done on the front. So this is my name, and then on the back here, a little bit. Got the old Feral's Fish and More. We wore them Friday, Saturday at the Clash. We're going to wear them Friday, Saturday here because I'm too cheap to get more shirts. But don't worry. Maybe for the Clash this year we'll have other shirts. We're also going to wear them for the Reptile Expo. Mm -hmm. The following week. But yeah, it's going to be great. I'm excited. This is one of my favorite parts. It's just like walking around with a big old logo on my back. I like the shirts. I do. I do. I do like the shirts. But yeah, we all have our own. All four of us. They're all yellow right now because I can't figure out what the next color should be. And then I found my other shirts from the Clash. Well, I found my Clash shirt. I don't think this wasn't last year's. Last year's was Shoot, I should find last year's. 
But I found my Keystone Clash 2022. Um, I really should bring the 2023 one to uh, the NEC. I was going to wear this one, but the 2023 one has um, our name on the back of it because we were a sponsor. So. And then the shirt I was going to wear for Sunday... is hold on they're all inside out because they literally have been sitting in a bag since the clash last year they've been sitting for months a little crusty huh gonna wear aquashella never been to an aquashella before but we're gonna wear it because it's bright and cute yeah me um, <laughs> well, that's a good idea i'll wear my class shirt there yeah. Wait, we could all match. Wait. Wait. Wait, maybe I should wear this on Thursday while we're, like, walking in. Because now the rest of my family have this shirt, so. It's Thursday. Nobody's going to be there. Except for everybody else. However, we all have blue shirts from 2022. And we all have gray shirts from 2023. We could actually match on Sunday. Yeah. I don't want people to know that I'm associated with you. No. Friday and Saturday they're going to know because you're going to have a big old Dave with a Ferrell's Fish and More on the back. I can have a button up to hide it. No. People just know my name. You're not doing that. I'm paying. The only button up you got is got bucks on it. You wore it to a wedding. You ain't, you ain't bringing that. You ain't bringing that to Connecticut. We're strictly business. Not really, but. We could match both days, too. Wear blue on Thursday. Wear gray on Sunday. I'll see if um, I'll see if the rest of my family got their, have their shirts handy. I think it'd be cool to wear the gray shirts on Sunday because they got their girls fishing more on the back. And then you're promoting the Clash, which will be the next big event. Yeah. I like the clash. It's a lot of fun. It is. Very fun. And we get to stay in the in the venue, so it's great because we can just walk back to our room whenever we want. And then for the vendor room, when we wake up, we can literally just walk right to the table whenever. I like it. I don't know. We haven't done a big event other than the clash. So I guess... We'll see how this goes. And also, we haven't done a big event staying out of the hotel. So that'll be another thing. But That would be a little challenge because of the dog, but run back and forth. Not so bad. The dog. The mm -hmm. good thing is, um, so there's two routes to get to the NEC from our hotel. It's five minutes or eight minutes. But if you go the eight minute route, you can pass by like, all these food places um there's really not a lot on the five minute route there's a couple like odds and end restaurants but the big names are on the eight minute route and then there's also some smaller businesses i guess <laughs> um can i buy that out but yeah so we can go to like five minutes from our hotel really it's just we can go to Taco Bell, McDonald's, Walmart, anywhere, really. So, that's good. The uh, the Clash is nice because McDonald's is right there in case you get hungry or you can't run out for food, but it's all good. Back to the, the thing before the shirts. The Clash, we eat McDonald's for breakfast pretty much all four days. Um... Thursday, it's a hit or miss. I think we actually... I don't remember where we stopped for food. I have a feeling it was McDonald's, but I don't really know. I remember... Um, I think it was the Massachusetts one where we like stopped for Wendy's or something. Uh -huh. It's terrible. I don't like eating in the car because then... Because then I got the dog next to me. But... um. Yes, yeah, so we have like McDonald's for breakfast every 
each day. We had McDonald's for lunch maybe one or two of the days, and then they actually had this, like, fast food table out in the lobby. So we went and bought, like, chicken tenders and fries and stuff. It was pretty nice. And then dinner is just, like, really whatever we find. One night it was McDonald's. One night we stopped somewhere on the way home. I don't even remember. And then we got um, Arby's one night. Oh my God. Well, we went to Noose's Deli the one day for lunch. That was and lunch. then we went to the uh, uh, Old Village Inn. Was that the oh, one? yes. It was like Old Village or Old Tavern. It wasn't Old Tavern, Inn, was it? No. No, I think it was like Old Village Old Village Inn, Inn or something. Right, that, at, right at the light of the clash. It that wasn't. Was... Um, it was a little expensive. But I don't know. It wasn't anything special. It's just like we went there. I got burgers and fries. It's like the average burgers and fries. Um, uh, it wasn't anything extraordinary for the price, but it wasn't bad. It was just average food. And then we got Arby's that one night. Um, that was pretty nasty. Um, man, I don't even remember what I got there. I just remember, like, we got wings. I remember that. And I'm like, this, they're terrible. Too spicy. And then... Or something else that I had. And I was like, this nasty. Uh-uh. Um, but yeah. So we're just going to have to find places to eat. Which, you know. Subway's an option. It's actually an option. It's right down the road from our hotel. And it's real food that we can eat. It's not real food. It's okay, I'm just saying it's something fresher. It's bread with lettuce and mayonnaise on it. I know. I'm saying, would you rather have greasy food all weekend or would you have something like nice to eat? I know Saturday night from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. is like the only real food I can guarantee for our whole weekend. Because we got a banquet dinner that I paid 90 bucks in advance to go to. Crip Keeper. Crip Keeper. Lumpy Dog. Lumpy Dog. Welcome. But yeah. You better be... Um, you don't know that'll be good. I didn't say it was going to be good. It's going to be actual food, though. Oh. Maybe Chris's fishes will invite us over to his house. We'll just have dinner with them. Why does he go home? I don't know. He lives, like, not that far from there, so... Oh. He'll probably just go home. I know Jen, Small World Aquatics, she, she's 45 minutes from the clash, so she just goes home every night. Right. Which makes sense. She doesn't vent on Sunday either, so it's not bad for a two-day thing. Oh, that's right. He's in Connecticut. Yeah. I forgot. I was thinking he was somewhere else. Let me see. Let me see real quick. Jenna P. Oh, hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Are you... Are you hold on. Early load-in for live goods only is Thursday, March 4th from 6 p.m. to midnight. We can store in a conference room for the night. Load-in hours are Friday from 9 a.m. to noon. We could have just went up Friday. We literally didn't have to go this Thursday. We could have just we could have just went Friday. Seems to work. We can't set up till 6 p.m. No, we can't. No, we can't set up. We can't set up Thursday. They're storing it in the conference room, and then we can set up Friday, is what I'm getting. Because the vendor room opens at noon on Friday. It's like noon to 9. So from 9 to noon in the morning, we can set up and load in. We could have left here at 5 a.m., got there, wouldn't be able to check into our hotel, but that's besides the point. And then, would have been lovely. Well, that's cool. We can go. Well, we'll have to bring the stuff into the hotel. hotel room. But then we can take it over and load in the conference room. <laughs> yeah. Or we can take it over Friday, whatever it works. Yeah. I'll label the bins this time because I know last time I tried to label them but didn't really label. So I'll label the bins this time and we can just take in the fish and the cultures and stuff. 
We can leave all the dry goods in the car. The, uh, yeah, but we can go see stuff in Connecticut. Maybe there's something over there. Low to out hours are from noon to four on Sunday. Huh? What did you say? Maybe we can see what's over in Connecticut. Go gallivanting. We're just going up Thursday for fun. Well, you got to get the hotel room. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, you can't get in there until 1 o'clock on Friday. You know? Could have booked you, an Airbnb, though. <laughs> what do you do with the dog from 9 to 1? Yeah, that's true. That's the only thing. But other than that, we should be able to set up on Thursday, honestly. I like having everything set up so then, like, Friday, you just walk in and be like, hey, I'm here. But, oh, well, I understand. So Thursday we're just gonna we're just gonna be hanging out. Isn't Scotty Aquati and he's like going on Sunday, I think. I don't even know if he's going. He's moving right now. This is like the week he can move, so the lefty. Aren't they both over in Connecticut? Yeah, probably. Scotty's looking for help moving, so if you wanna go help him on Thursday. There's something to do. <laughs> No, we can't leave later on Thursday. We gotta get there early. Oh, we're meeting a dude on the way, so I don't know what time he can do if it's much later. I'll ask. I'll inquire. But load out time on Sunday is twelve to four, and check out our hotel is eleven. When is the vendor room close at four? Twelve. That's why load out time is twelve. To so 4. they stop selling at twelve. Yeah. For the auction at 12. <clears throat> so we'll have to. Uh, pretty much start packing up. Well, we'll have to get everything from the hotel back and start packing up. Yeah. Maybe we get, maybe they'll give us another hour or something in the hotel room. But so yeah. we, so we don't really need early check in. Yeah. So you can load in from 6 p.m. to midnight on Thursday, but it'll just be stored in the conference room. So, I mean, honestly, it's I would think it's better to just leave it in our hotel room because I don't want it mixed up with anything else on accident. Um, Not that I would, but we could just bring it in Friday, 9 a.m. We're just going to be chilling. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, we can have a real meal on Thursday. Yeah, we can actually we can find somewhere nice to go and enjoy. I know where there's a long uh, Texas Roadhouse in Connecticut. We went there. Didn't let, let that is know. nowhere near us. <laughs> nowhere near we're us. Uh, so we're in Carmel, New York. Pushed over right to Connecticut. Groton, Connecticut, we're, we're, we're not here where the roadhouse is. We're, like, down there. So we could drive a couple hours to this roadhouse if you want. No. I'm sure there's one closer. I'm sure there's plenty of things. Yeah. We'll find somewhere nice to go. So we're going to check in at 3-ish to the hotel, I assume. And then um, just kind of hang out. Load everything in our hotel room. And hang out. And then Friday morning, just hang out till nine. Load everything back in the car, obviously. No. But yeah, load everything in the car and head over there and get in there and then be ready to start loading stuff in at nine. Yeah. And then start vending at noon. It'll be great. Yeah, they're this one's three o'clock, but they're letting us come in at one. Not anymore. We don't need it no more. Well, yeah, they were letting us. That was the earliest they would let us come in is one o'clock. Yeah, but I mean, it depends on um, because we are meeting a guy on the way down. If he can't do like a certain time, then we can always like figure it out. 
yet again, he's also coming up for the, um, for the Queen's Bar Expo the week after, and he's getting stuff for me, so if he couldn't meet at that time that we're going down, I can just bring it to the Queen's Bar thing. It don't matter. <laughs> Were we saying Mystic Marriott? No. Yes. That's the. No, that's the venue. Oh man. We're staying at Motel Six. There's a Raising Cane's on the way. If you want to stop. I wasn't that impressed. I think it was good. I mean, I ate a shit ton of it. <laughs> that was a great day, honestly. We had a great time at. The, it was like this small one day swap. It was great. We did. We brought in like a thousand or so bucks. A little over a thousand, I think. Go get him. Go over there. And then we stopped at Raising Cane's on the way home. And I had just woken up as we were like, we were getting close. Oh my God. I was half asleep and they're like, are you coming inside? I'm like, um, sure. Yeah, I did not have an appetite, but I was like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought for the price, I don't think it was. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't spectacular for the money you spent. Stephen said, Raising Cane's, you'll spend all the money you make. <laughs> Thursday, we won't have made any money, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll have to find somewhere nice to go. Don't gotta be nice, but somewhere to actually eat, and then probably a deli or something, because who don't love a deli? Hmm. Or a diner. Well, deli for lunch, depending on what time we go. Well, we'll check in at 3, so probably eat uh, around 5-ish. And then if we get hungry again, we can go down to Subway. We have, like, a little food for the weekend, you know? Tuck it away. Good or lose it like my last sub. Can you entertain people for a minute? There you go. All right. Ow, cat. Clawed my leg. Okay, she's gone. She doesn't do anything. But yeah, I wasn't super happy. Yeah, it wasn't terrible, but. Not my favorite, especially for the money. It was kind of expensive. But I also don't like uh, KFC most of the time. Most of them, their chicken's soggy, but that's just, seems like this place up here. How's Olivia? She's doing good. She's in all sorts of sports. And different things. Hi, Kitty. You okay? I ran out of the basement. I know. Oh. I heard the door. Oh. <clears throat> Did you entertain everybody? No. Oh. Uh. Oh man, I hear the air fryer going off. Yeah, that's one will be different. Because we've never been here before. We were at the clash before we ended, so that was cool to see what it was about. This one. Plus, they kind of shut down for a couple of years, right? Yeah. And then they're starting back up. Since like 2020, I think, so four year gap. Yeah. So hopefully it goes pretty good. Hopefully people, hopefully they have that audience again. You got a lot of pre-orders, so that helps. And but this Queensberry Expo, I wasn't sure. I didn't know if we were going to go or not to it. And I was just kind of like, it'd be the week after the NEC, we could just bring like the leftovers there. But it turns out like a lot of people are interested in it. There's... There's two different events for it because it was like created twice and there's like 200 people interested on one and then 640 interested on the other. 
So a lot of people have like interacted with this event. And I have a lot of pre-orders for that one. I have more pre-orders for that one than the Clash, but the Clash totals up to more. Um, but I'm excited for the Queensberry one as well. Gotta focus on the Clash first, but still thinking about the Queensberry one in case there's anything. Gotta focus on the AEC. I am focusing on the AEC. You said the Clash. Oh. Huh. Which makes absolute sense. I mean, it is. Gotta the, focus on the Clash, too. It is the greatest show of the year. It really is. It truly is. Well, it's so fun. Like, the Clash is very fun to go to. Vending's a great time because you meet a bunch of new people. And just overall, it's like it's like you know half the people, more than half the people. Right? It's great. It's wonderful. And all the vendors for this year are similar to last year. So it'd be great because we like went around and met everybody. It was fun, but got, I mean, got to focus on the NEC. And what? Um, we know some of them that are going to the NEC anyway. Um, um, uh, we know all the vendors that are going. Right. Except for like. Later pleasure. The big ones, which are like, you know. Oh, that's cool, Steven. Yeah, I've seen people do it both ways, too. Apparently, like, the full apple cider vinegar lasts longer. Supposedly. But they last long anyways, too. Um, But yeah, gotta focus on the NEC, which is a big thing, because it's literally this Thursday. I have three days to do everything. But, um, still gotta keep the, the Queensberry one in the back of my mind, because that'd be great. The big thing's gonna be the isopods for that one. Because everybody who's pre ordered is like looking for isopods. And a lot of people who were just asking about the show were looking for isopods. So And there's gonna be some YouTubers there. Where? At the NEC. Yeah. A lot of the tables are just club tables. It's like the Vermont one, Brooklyn, South Coast. Like most of them, a lot of the tables are uh, clubs. A bunch of the other tables are big brands like API and I don't remember the Zoom Ed. And then some stores, I don't, I think they were vendors or they had a table there or something. And then the smaller vendors are us, Chris's Fishes, Sam Scales, Samurai Aquatics. He's just going to hang out, right? He's not been there. Yeah, he's not. He he doesn't even know if he's going. Go. He may go on Sunday, right? Yeah, if he goes. And then Alex is going to stop by for a little bit. But yeah, the only small vendors that I know of are Chris's Fishes, Us, Sabrai, Sam Scales. And yeah, Garden of Eater. I was thinking Crypt. I couldn't figure, I couldn't remember who they were, but, but yeah, Garden of Eater. Those are the only ones, only vendors that I know of. But yeah, hopefully it'll be fun. Well, I know it'll be fun because we all know each other, so. Yeah. If anything, if it's, if it's a flop, if it's, if there's a low crowd, we could just yell across the room to each other. Or we can make the little football triangles and flick them. To each other, across the aisles. Start um, learn sign language. Start talking to each other. Um, yeah, that's why I was thinking Crypt because he's at um, Garden of Eaters booth. Um, you get a frisbee, beach volleyball, or something. We can bat that around. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be good. It will be. It'll be great, grand, and wonderful. Yes. <laughs> that was from the uh, Upstate Killifish. Or was that Danbury Aquarium Society? No, it was Upstate Killifish. We were across from ABC. Yep. And it was like... It was started out phenomenal, 
and died quick. Yeah, it was um, <laughs> it was very slow towards the end. So we were just like sitting there talking to him, playing. Yeah, Olivia and him were flicking the triangle football back and forth, get themselves <laughs> occupied. Yeah. <clears throat> No, it was quite the slow show. That's why we didn't. Well, I don't know. They had a really good show. It was our first ever show, and it was really good. And then they had. I mean, it kind of set the expectation high because later Nathan, there was um, everybody was like, "This is our best show yet." Blah blah blah. The first show kicked ass. It well, was, everybody was saying that was their personal best show too. It was busy from the so, time we got there. It the, was yeah. From the time they opened the door. Till almost the time they closed the doors. It was busy all day, yeah. nonstop. And there were still deals. Well, we almost sold out of live food cultures before the doors opened. Paul McCarthy, later Nathan. Um, but yeah, everybody was saying how great of a show that was. And that was our first ever show. So, like, set the bar high. Well, it was like set the bar where it should be, I guess. Well, they did it um, later in the year. And then they did it at. Yeah, it was November 22nd, their yeah. first show. It was really good. Um, And then their next show was early. I feel like it was like August or October or something. I don't remember. But it was in that range. Yeah, I think it was August. It was a beautiful day. Yeah. But that was probably the problem because it was a beautiful day. People were like, yeah. I'm going outside. It was August, October, somewhere in, in there. And it was... It was a pretty dull day. So then they stopped doing it for like a year or two. I think it was a year. They like didn't do it all of last year. And then they started one up this year, the same club. But they did it in March. They did it March 16th, which is the same day as the ACLC swap. And what was the other one? South Coast swap. And there was... Um, another swap as well. So there was like a big overlap between the, sh the swaps and stuff. But they did it March 16th and they moved locations to Binghamton, New York. So instead of Albany, which is an hour away, they moved. it's three hours away from us. I was like, we're not going. I didn't have any interest in going. Um, I don't have anything against the club. It's just... Yeah, the people there are really nice. It's just like they... They took a break and then they moved the show. And I'm just like, eh. mm. it was too early in the year, anyways. Because I heard about it like the week, like I think it was two weeks before the show was going. I heard about it, um, and that they were looking for vendors. And I'm like, it's it's too close now. It was um. Yeah, March, April seems to be a good time for shows. Yeah. Um, September, October, November, is a good time. November, you're, you're getting into the winter season. You're coming out of the winter season. So it seems to be a good time. You start trying to do them in the summertime. It doesn't seem to work so well. Yeah. Or December. I don't even see anything in December. So not as far as indoor shows go. Indoor shows. Well, fish shows in particular. I yeah. Guess. There really isn't anything <laughs> booked in those months either. There's, there's we we don't do shows in June or July. Really, we don't do them in May either. There is one in May that I wanted to go to, but they only have one table left, and I was like, eh. Um, so May, June, July, we don't have anything. But then coming into August, September, October, November, that's when the shows really pick up. Um, we didn't really have any shows for March and April this year. Until well, we knew the NEC, um, but we were just gonna have like one show in the beginning of the year, and then like so like nothing the first couple months, the one big show, and then all of summer, and then August to November would be like the actual show season. But we're just gonna do these two shows, and then it'll be it'll be a good break, I guess. It'll be like three months until our next show, and we can really just build up everything. I mean, I say that, but. It'll just mainly be orders and stuff. And really just focusing on species and whatnot. Yeah, because I got firewood and camp still. Yeah. 
Yeah, which is good because summer does get real busy. And we can't be can't we can't be doing this. But then August. I don't know. If we're doing any in August, I'm not actually sure. We did one in August last year and that was a really good one. Um, so I wanted to do it again this year. But they haven't scheduled it yet, so Is that the South Coast? Yeah, that's the one in Massachusetts. So, I mean, if they schedule it and it's, like, a good day, hopefully we can make it. Um, but as far as I know, the only other events that we're doing this year are September 9th, which is in Harvard de Grace, Maryland. It's for the Aquarium Club of Maryland. Um, That's a talk, right? Yeah. <coughs> there was something. That's so mostly just a talk, right? I mean, you're going to bring cultures out for people, but. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was something like September 20th, something like in the 20s. I don't remember what that was. Let me check my calendar real quick. Maybe I'm just thinking of the clash. Oh, never mind. So it was like September 22nd. It was something in Albany, but I don't think that we're going to that one. So it'll be September 9th in Maryland. Um, then the next one will be October 4th to the 6th. That'll be the Keystone Clash. And then the next one after that, a possible one, is October 26th. That would be um, in Rochester, New York. But the next confirmed one, November 1st to the 3rd in South Burlington, Vermont. That's CatCon. Um... November 16th was another thing that we were looking at. Um, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Hey. And then... It pretty, um, th I think that was it. There is um, November 22nd, I think. That weekend is OCA. But yet again, those are just ideas. The only confirmed ones are The Clash, CatCon, The Talk, and the NEC in the Queensbury Expo. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't really know. However, it is 5 o'clock, so we do have to end it, because I do have a lady coming soon. Who that? Um, my cousin-in-law. But, yeah, thank you all for coming. We'll try and stream this weekend at the NEC. Probably, maybe Friday because we'll kind of, I don't know, Friday Friday's going to be crazy, so probably not. Yeah, if we have some slow time, we'll... Friday will be whack because... Either stream or maybe she'll put out a video. We got to set... Videos are not for me. <laughs> so, we got to set up from 9 to noon, and then, like, noon we got to, like, start doing the... Well, we got to, like, move stuff in for the workshop, and then 1 to 2 the workshop, and then we got to get right out. So, you know... Friday's going to be crazy. Maybe Friday evening. Or just Saturday because I know we have the banquet dinner. I could always stream during the banquet dinner. Or before the banquet dinner. Mm -hmm. Show the vendor room and then go to the dinner. But, yeah. Thank you all for coming. We'll see you all hopefully at the NEC. If not, maybe at the Queensbury Expo. Who knows? But, yeah. Joel catches later. See you in the streams. See you, geez, two weeks? Two weeks. Three mm -hmm. weeks. It'll be three weeks. Three weeks. If not, if not, a, a surprise stream. But yeah. Yep. Other yep. than that, bye everybody. Later all. Enjoy.